Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a mite check, uh, sometimes called an ether roll or an alcohol roll. Uh, typically, up till now, I've always used a sticky board and I'll continue to do that and I'll count the number of mites on a certain section of my sticky board. But um, going through these dead outs, I'm kind of learning that we want to get a mite count per 100 bees. So 100 bees is approximately a third of a cup. And there they are in there. Here's the bees from my dead out that I took the sampling of bees from. Now, if you're doing a regular mite check on a hive that's alive and kicking, you would ideally get 100 nurse bees shaken off of a frame from the middle of the brood. So basically remove that frame from the brood, from the brood nest and shake off about a third of a cup of bees. Um, and in that case, they're going to be live. So a lot of times, uh, People in our club will take a funnel and a mason jar, put the funnel in the mason jar, shake the bees into the funnel, get about a third cup of live bees in the mason jar. Then you're going to add some alcohol to it. Okay, and basically the mites tend to hide up inside the crevices around the abdomen of the bee and other parts that um, they have to penetrate that outer exoskeleton to get to the hemolymph, and that's what the mites suck on. Because we're just going to soak these bees in this alcohol for a while, and uh, ideally that makes these mites slide out of the bees. So we're going to let that sit for a minute. After that, we'll empty out the alcohol and see if we have any mites. Did it for about 10 minutes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this through a coffee filter into a jar, the water and the bees for now, mainly because I want to catch any mites that may be in the water, in the, in the alcohol. Okay, and we don't need to add all the bees into the alcohol because once we get the alcohol out of them, what we can do with the bees, we'll set this aside and we'll make sure to take to count any mites that may be in this coffee filter. But now what we'll do is we'll take this eighth inch hardware cloth and we will dump the bees out of this container. And um, this is about 300 bees. I went ahead and up the count because if we only did 100 bees, um, if you think about taking possibly 100 bees out, you know, you can get X number of mites. And then if you took another 100 bees, you get maybe a different number. So I went ahead and just took 300 bees, which is about a cup. And we want these things to kind of dry out from this alcohol and possibly drop any other mites onto this white towel. So we're going to let this thing sit a little bit. I feel the bees are still really wet want to try to get whatever mites we can to drop out of these bees. And I see several of them on the towel already. So if 10 mites per 100 bees would be a lot, 2 mites per 100 would be much better and acceptable. So the fact that we got 300 bees here, we'll take our total number of mites and divide them by three. Let these sit for a minute. Okay, so I sat and shook these things for a good amount of time and I got the coffee filter out of the jar and emptied the mites that were in that onto this towel. And I have about nine mites. As you can see what fell onto the towel. Let's see, that's some bee parts. Here we go. There's a mite. Right there. There's one. Two more. So of 300 bees, there was approximately nine mites 
So if I divide that by three, that's mites per hundred, that gives me about three mites per hundred, which, you know, again, if your populations are low, that might be a high mite count. If you got a lot of bees, then um, that might be a lower mite count. So you really, the threshold kind of depends on what part of the year we're in, you know, are the bees just firing up? Um, do they have plenty of brood mid-July, or are they kind of you know, dying down as we, as the queen prepares for winter? So of these dead outs, this was a dead out that um, I'm just thinking that, you know, of these bees, I'm probably going to do a couple more tests with the rest of these bees to see how them numbers compare to the next trial.